employment is a wealth creating opportunity and so if you're going to milk the value from from your employment you've got to think about it you've got to be very conscious about it here i am earning a managerial salary on my way up in a career but i am not milking the opportunity here is a junior officer who has got his priorities angled right and mm -hmm. is able to create wealth well most of my existence is on loan in fact my net worth was negative at that point just with that income that you earn is there a way in which you can put aside a little money to create uh, value for yourself so that you don't live like a victim all right you are a victor you, it's an opportunity yeah. you brought yourself into employment so please um take advantage of it once again, Alan, for giving us this opportunity to draw from your wealth of wisdom on all matters employment. We have really learned a lot the last couple of weeks. You've really shared a lot. And now we have direction. We now know, you know, we, you've given us strategies and tactics, how to go about our careers and, you know, how to break that ceiling and, you know, to move forward. So thank you so much, Alan. And thank you, um, our audience, also our followers for really engaging with us on all our social media platforms, on YouTube, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Instagram. Thank you so much. And I'd like to say, if you have just graduated, you are about to graduate, you are in the job market, this book is a must have. This one is a tool you, you should wake up to every day, read through. It's a simple read, yet it's very, very intensive. It's very deep, the nuggets, and it's something you can follow through. If you read a chapter and apply this to your setting, it will help you go a long way. It gives you secrets to help you navigate through your career path as an employee. So today we continue with the series. I'm very excited about today. So Alan, tell us about milking the opportunity. How can we, how can an employee milk an opportunity? at their job. Okay, uh, thanks Isabella. It's been uh, great uh, in this series, but uh, let me let me start where you, you are there. Um, milking the opportunity. Now, uh, that is an interesting story. And uh, I, I want to say that uh, when I shared this with one of my uh, insurance agents one time, they came to sell me some, some insurance and I had this, um, uh, I call it a poem, milking your opportunity on a card and I gave it to her. And uh, mm -hmm. a few weeks later, I, I caught up with her and asked her, how are you doing? And, and mm -hmm. she said, you know what? That story, I pinned it on the end of my bed so that when I wake up in the morning, it's the first thing I see. And I go out mm -hmm. every day and I try and make a difference in my employment. And so mm -hmm. I, I want to use that as a basis is because uh, when you're talking about milking an opportunity, it's, it's, it, 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 it comes about when you have a chance to get something. And, and, and usually that thing is limited and employment is limited. And so if you're going to milk the value from, from your employment, you've got to think about it. You've got to be very conscious about it. Now, let me give you the story behind uh, milking the opportunity. I, I joined a firm, okay? Uh, I joined uh, um, a manufacturing firm as a young uh, manager. And I had... Uh, <clears throat> I had a, I had a, uh, um, a car, all right? Uh, of course, it was on loan, and uh, I, I was living in a nice house, and I was climbing the corporate ladder. That was my intent. I'm going to be the CEO one day, so I sat as a supervisor. I'll work as a manager, and I had uh, gotten to the point of manager, manager training. And so this is, this is a serious achievement. I was still in my 30s, and I was thinking, well, I'm on my way. Now, at that factory, there was a little, um, I'll call him little, because not because he was little, because I learned a lot from him, um, mm -hmm. a messenger. And this messenger was uh, a messenger. You know, you send them to the accounts department, you send them to the administrative department, and you send... 
But after a while, I noticed that all the employees in the organization were had a lot of respect for this gentleman. Now I had just mm -hmm. joined, I was six months into the, into uh, employment and I was trying to find out how everybody else in the organization runs and works and how they work together. But everybody respected this guy. So I thought, wait a minute, let me find out why do you, why are you, why does everybody give difference to this uh, messenger? And uh, they started telling me about him. He said, you know, this uh, gentleman comes in at uh, 5 a.m. and he's coming from 50 kilometers away and he's coming from his own house, um, which is about a town, 50 miles out of town. And he has a farm and he came on his own public means. I mean, he had a, he had a private vehicle uh, which mm -hmm. was running a bus. He was call it a bus company for all intents. He had a, um, in, in Africa, we have these things called matatus or, you know, these uh, small ve passenger vehicles that ply between towns. And he owned uh, several of them. And uh, as they told me his story, I said, you know, I'm a bit incredulous. That can't be true. This guy is a messenger who earns as much money as I pay in tax. I have a vehicle uh, that I'm still paying on loan and I've been working for the past 10 years. How come this guy uh, has all that wealth? And then, and then, you know, being cocky and arrogant as I am, I stop this guy in the corridor and I say, I, I hear things about you that people are saying that you have a car, you have a, you have a pickup, you have a farm, you, you live in your own house, you arrive here at 5 a.m. because you come with your own public transport and it goes on to yeah. business and you get over. And he says, um, yes, that's true. And I, said, I was incredulous, like, what do you mean? And he told me, young man, I have mm -hmm. been here for 17 years. And okay. that farm that I have bought, that car mm -hmm. that I come, the mm -hmm. public transport vehicle that brings me to work and takes me home, mm -hmm. I got from this job. And I'm going to milk every opportunity that arises from this job before I leave. Mm -hmm. That's when it struck me. Here I am earning a managerial salary on my way up in a career, but I am not milking the opportunity. Here is a junior officer who has got his priorities angled right and mm -hmm. is able to create wealth. Well, most of my existence is on loan. In fact, my net worth was negative at that point. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Negative, because I own a car, I've got a, a house that is fully furnished with on higher purchase, I have a TV, I've got, you know, all these wonderful things that we all like in life, but I'm mm -hmm. not creating wealth. And that's yeah. when I learned the secret of using your income, your employment mm -hmm. opportunity to create wealth. Now, he, he, he made no bones about it. It didn't take him a short time, but it was deliberate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so that's the story behind milking your <laughs> milking your opportunities. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a job, in other words, what we're saying is that do you have a plan mm -hmm. to create wealth for yourself? And I'm not saying mm -hmm. steal. And I think I'll repeat this if I have to. I'm not saying he stole. Just with that income that you earn, is there a way in which you can put aside a little money to create uh, value for yourself so that you don't live like a victim, all right? You are a victor. You, it's an opportunity. Yeah. You brought yourself into employment. So please um, take advantage of it, okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, so this means you are drinking the milk, sort of milking it. Yes. <laughs> so how can an employee use their skills or skill sets mm -hmm. now to milk the opportunity as opposed to drinking the opportunity? Okay. All right. Now, um, your employer has has uh, has uh, given you a job uh, to to produce certain value, and as you yeah. produce that value, um, he, mm -hmm. he's using your skills. That means you're creating some milk, right? But at the yeah. same time, he's paying you. It's not for free, all right. And I said uh, mm -hmm. at some point that uh, 
employment is a wealth creating opportunity. You're creating wealth for your employer and you have an opportunity to create wealth for yourself. Now your employer yeah. is not going to do this for you because they have a plan to operate this. We will every, I don't even think employers assume they just, they're not going to do it for you. I mean, you, you brought yourself here, so you must have a plan. So they assume you have a plan. So milking the opportunity means that if you whatever you take away from employment, you need to use it in such a way that it benefits you. Now, the one thing that uh, all employers want for uh, employees want from uh, the the jobs is money, income, income, money, and and everybody will tell you, "I'm working for money. I'm working for money." So that's the milk, right? Yeah. What yeah. are you doing with that milk? Mm -hmm. Are you reinvesting it? Are you saving it? Are you creating mm -hmm. a capital base for it? Are you are you are you creating value so that you are able to have a house or a, a, a pickup like this gentleman or even a cow like this gentleman? Because he, from from his salary, he had saved enough to buy the cow and which was now feeding him at, in, in his own home. OK, so what is your what is your wealth creation strategy? In mm -hmm. other words, think about it. Think about the milk you're going to get from your employer. Yeah. <clears throat> 